Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I told you I would do another video so hopefully I can like keep this up now after my huge silence. So I wanted to do a, what month are we in? July. A July favourite. So I just want to talk about all my fave things. Yes, I just said fave. Keep it to text, Beth. You need to remember how to speak. So I want to start off with things from NYX. So NYX ha um, launched in the UK, was it like two months ago? Um, it's in it's in boots, it's in like most boots now, probably everywhere by now. And I need a dark deer about the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. Yes, can't speak. I can't speak. So this is what they look like and they are beautiful. Um, <clears throat> Oh, I might buy some more and then do like um, a video where I put all of them on um, and tell you about them but for now let me just tell you this one is my fave well it was in the winter because I bought this one ages ago when me and Vic went to Madrid and I saw a Nick shop and I was like oh my god um, and this is in Copenhagen and it's a really nice like plum berry colour I mean I don't want to get too into it because I need to do another video but I've been loving this lately as well this is Morocco and this is Obviously they're all matte, that's what <coughs> oh, that's what it says on the tin. Uh, this is a beautiful corally orange colour. This I have not worn, I've worn once. It wasn't my fave one, but this is Prague. I also have a red one which I can't find. Um, but let me just tell you, get yourself down to Boots now and get into NYX because there's some great things to be had there. Okay, next up is a highlight, which is, everyone knows about it, I mean this has been spoken about on YouTube for so long and I am so behind and now I understand why there is so much hype and it is the Mary Luminizer. This is the most perfect highlight in the world for me. I've tried quite a few and this one by far is my favourite, let me is that gonna focus like you can just see from there it's just so pretty such such a nice um, champagne color it's got teeny little specks of glitter in it it's it's not like it's not one that shows off your lumps and bumps which you know I love because I love Max off and gentle but that really does do that so this is a great one I it's from the balm um, but I bought mine from super drug like a big super drug in cardiff so if you're looking for a new highlight and you haven't jumped on the bandwagon yet i suggest you jump on my friend if you jump jump on okay next up is the nars creamy concealer i caved and bought it because another it's, an, it's another one that people just talk about and it's like a staple holy grain grail holy green <laughs> holy grail item that everyone has in their makeup bag. Um, this and Naked by Urban Decay, which is on my hit list. This is in the colour Light One Chantilly. I think this is the lightest colour they do. Um, and even when I was pale, it was like the right colour for me. Um, I use this under my eyes. I don't use it on my spots at the moment because I've, believe it or not, I've got a slight tan. So um, I use a different one on my spots and I use this where I want to um, highlight. I know this was in, I've only, I think I've only done three favourite videos ever. I might start doing them like every month but then that means like changing up my makeup. Oh, I did not know that happened. Ah, I always twist it in that but there's a, there's a double lid. Who knew? Anyway, so when I was, when I was pale, <laughs> lol, uh oh, shit, let's put this back on properly there, oh god, so I bought this in Light 3 Gobi um, and I now mix it with my Mont Blanc, which is what I was in the summer, to get a really nice colour, um, I'm back loving this because my skin went really dry and weird for ages, so this did, did not go well on it. But now it is beautiful um, and I really like it. I like it a lot. Also, this perfume, when I moved I was in a little box room for a week um, because my room wasn't ready. It was a bit of a nightmare. But 
I didn't unpack anything and I didn't have my perfume on for a whole week and I didn't even think I'm really that mad about perfume like I've worn this one for years and years and years but I feel I need to tell everyone about how amazing it smells because for that week when I didn't have it on I missed it <laughs> and this is Amani Diamonds the reason I bought it when I was like 15 was because Beyonce was on the advert and it's good marketing because look I'm still addicted like I reckon I was 15 like 10 years later well done well done I don't think I've ever included a brush in things I'm loving but I got the Zoeva rose gold collection beautiful and this is the 127 luxe sheer cheek brush and I use this as highlight just on the top of my cheeks and I well, let me do a little demo oh it's got a mirror didn't even realize so oh uh, take two like I just brush this on the top of my cheeks and can you see yes you can see it is so pretty let me just do the other one now so I'm like not just glowing on one side it's like a bit more even also I went to Primark the other day I uh, haven't been there for ages went to a really big one in Sheffield no Sheffield by Doncaster my geography is not ideal but I went to Primark and how I wore this in my last video and I really love this how cute is this it's one of the what do you even call this you know the ones that you like button up at the bottom what is that called hmm. um, and it is a southern NASA and it is so cute and this was eight pounds from Primark really want to do a Primark haul want to get some bits get some bits something else that I don't even want to use because they are so pretty. I had this thing with the Zoeva brushes and I think I've only used like two or three, which is so silly. But bear with me. Let me, right, okay, you've got a guess while I'm getting these out of the pot. This is, um, these are brushes I was sent and they like mermaids and unicorns and bright colors. Have you guessed it? It is Spectrum. Like how nice do these brushes look? How nice? Like the pink, oh god, oh. like they're just so nice and they, I can't believe they, they're so soft. This is going to be nice, like I could use this for blush. I'm not sure what you use this one for and it doesn't say what they are on them. Which I kind of like because I never really use brushes for what they're meant for anyway. I'm guessing like eyeshadow. This one, foundation. This one for eyebrows or this one for eyebrows. This is like a really thin version of this. They both look nice. And, oh, maybe, is this a foundation one? I don't know. But they are so soft and so pretty. And maybe I want to do, like, some sort of video on them. But I'm not sure what to do. Maybe a video just with me using these brushes. Um, I ain't sure. But um, if you can think of something, let me know. Or maybe, like, just a blog post about how, oh, my God, about how they're doing. Oh, let me actually show you as well. <laughs> Uh, this is something I'm loving. So I was in Urban Outfitters and I'm like one for mugs uh, and I saw this mug and I was like yes I'm using it at the moment as my makeup brush mug because my other pot's just completely full and then when Spectrum sent me these brushes I was like where am I going to put them? Look at this. Can you read it? And this reminds me of my friend Rihanna and something she would totally say. So I think that is everything. Oh Killing my chin. I think that is everything for my favourites. Hope you enjoyed and um, let me know as always in the comments anything you would like to see and come and follow me on all my other places because I'm on Instagram a lot, a lot, a lot. I hear people out there. I don't think I'm weird talking to myself. Well, that was good timing. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye-bye.